I'm going to show the process of completing a survey end-to-end -end in SMAP. That is, uh, creating the survey, completing it on the phone, and then looking at the results in an exported spreadsheet. So the first step is to download the survey template. This downloads a spreadsheet template. Which will open. So this template has the two worksheets on it, survey and choices. Your questions go in the survey worksheet, and if you have a select one, select multiple question, those options will go in the choices worksheet. So let's add a, a question of type text. We'll give this question a name of name, and we'll give it the label, which is the question shown to the user, of what is your name. Now I'm going to add an integer question. So type integer. The name of the question will be age, and the label shown to the user is what is your age. Now I have a select one question, and I'm going to specify a list name of gender. We'll give this question a name of gender as well, and the label, what is your gender? So we've specified the question, but I haven't specified the choices that the user can make. Let's go to the choices worksheet. Enter the list name, which was gender. Uh, the name of the first choice, which we'll say is male, and give it a label of male. Let's add another option, gender female, and the label female. OK, I'm going to add one more question, which is a select multiple question, and have a list name of be fast, and we'll give this question the name of breakfast, and the, the label, the question that's shown to the user is, what do you have for breakfast? Okay, so our list name was be fast, let's go and add the choices. Be fast, let's say eggs is the first choice. We could have a label of eggs. Uh, so another one, toast. Label of toast. Um, uh, noodles. Table of noodles. And our cereal would be our last option. Spelling right, I hope. Okay, so we've created a, a very simple survey. I'm just going to save it. We now need to load this survey onto the server. This is the um, the SMAP server. I'm in the template management page. So let's specify a name for our new template. We'll call it Breakfast or Breakfast Survey. Now I'm going to choose the uh, spreadsheet we just downloaded, which is still called Blank Form 62, and I'll upload it to the server. Hopefully in a minute it should appear in the list of surveys on the left. And there it is, Breakfast Survey. OK, so we're ready to complete the survey now on our phone. OK, let's uh, complete the survey on the mobile phone now. So here's an, my mobile phone emulator, and it's running a uh, field task. So first of all, I'm going to check the settings just to see um, whether or not uh, we've got the correct server set up and correct username. So I see that the server is correct, dev.smap.com.au, but there's no username. I'll just enter my username and a password. And then press the back button. OK, we're now ready to download our survey. So click Menu, Get New Forms.
and here, what did we call it? Breakfast survey. Here it is. Get selected. All right, we're now ready to start our survey. So I click on the edit button. Select the survey we want to do. And start swiping to go between the questions. First question, what is your name? My age. My gender. And what do you have for breakfast? And this one, of course, is a multiple choice question. Eggs and toast. Save form and exit. We've now completed the survey on the phone. Uh, and you can see it's got the big tick to say there's a survey instance completed. And I'm going to send this results back to the server by clicking Menu, Submit Finished Data. I'll just select all instances, there's only one, and Send Selected. Well, success. So the results have been uploaded to the server. Let's return to the server and I'll select the analysis menu so I'm just going to go straight to export and export these results So first of all I'll select the survey the uh, breakfast survey we'll leave the other defaults in place and export Here we have the XLS file. Open it and here are the results. So you can see the system's added a few additional uh, columns such as the device identifier, start and end time of the survey, a unique instance ID, the name of the user who submitted it. Uh, oh, sorry, this is the actual data. So there's the name, question, age, gender, uh, and here we have two options selected, uh, eggs and toast for breakfast, noodles and cereal were not selected. And there's a unique instance ID which uniquely identifies this particular survey instance. And that completes the end-to-end -end process.